All right, now let's discuss ranged attacks. For a hero to make a ranged attack, he'll have to have a ranged weapon. And they must have a clear line of sight to their target. Also, important to note is that there's no limit on ranged weapons, so if your character can see it, they can hit it, or at least attempt to. If a villain character has a ranged attack, it will be indicated here on their character tile. To determine if a hero or villain character has a clear line of sight to their target, draw a straight line from the white dot in the attacker's area to the white dot in the target's area. If this line doesn't cross any obstacles, you have a clear line of sight. In some cases where your line of sight does cross an obstacle, but the attacker area and the target area share a common letter, then you actually do have a line of sight. Think of it as being high enough that your shot actually passes over the obstacles. Or maybe your target is high enough and you can see them from down on the ground. You can find a full breakdown of each game board in the back of the mission book. This breakdown will indicate blocking walls, height levels, and anything else you need to know about the level that might not be evident on the game board itself. Oh, and any areas separated by an orange line always have a clear line of sight between them. One last thing you should know about ranged attacks is that they are affected by enemy characters standing in the same area as the attacker. So, for each enemy standing in the attacker's area, subtract that enemy's menace index from the total successes rolled by the attacker. Let me explain. Let's say the um, Red Hood here wants to make a ranged attack against this brute. Well, he's going to have to roll at least a success of 3 to overcome the brute's automatic defense of 2. But if this thug happens to be standing in the same area as Red Hood while this is happening, we have to subtract the thug's menace index from the number of successes rolled by the attacker. So, if Red Hood does roll a 3, the thug subtracts one of those successes, leaving only two remaining. Which sadly is not enough to take out the brute, which is rough, but it's nothing that some good old fashioned teamwork can't fix. Let's say for the sake of this example that Catwoman is in the same area as Red Hood when he makes his shot. In this case, her menace index of one would counteract the thug's menace index of one. So now, Red Hood only has to contend with the brute's auto defense and any additional defense dice that the villain player might decide to roll. Oh, and another thing. If the ranged attacker happens to be on higher ground than his target, they also get an elevation bonus of one yellow die when attacking.